all right so in the last video what we have discussed is how manually you can extend the uh, access without changing the owner how can you give access to other users or a group of users manually so in this video we're going to talk about something called auto sharing automatic sharing how can the system automatically share the record with maybe an individual or a group of people okay so this is called auto sharing so to understand this auto sharing again let's have a scenario first you understand this scenario and uh, after we have learned this scenario we will just go into salesforce and implement that scenario with auto sharing so the scenario is this same customer suppose loan management company is actually onboarding leads and uh, in, when i say lead there are uh, there's a there's something called type in lead okay there are two types of lead one who, uh, who wants to take a business loan one who wants to take a personal loan right so there's a type uh, i'm gonna create a field inside lead called type which i've already created and the type value is basically um, business and person these are the pick list so if it is a business um uh type right if the lead type is business then this lead will be shared with team one we have already created team one and team two if it is a personal type of lead this lead will be shared with team two okay so team one this team is actually uh, they take care of the business background verification this team team two take care of the uh, personal uh, personal level uh, background verifications all right so there are two teams team one and team two and a lead could be looking for a business loan or a personal loan if he's looking for a business loan if the type of the lead is business it will be shared with uh, the team one automatically if the type is personal it will be shared with this particular team two automatically nobody will do this manual right okay so now we will go into the system and we'll see how to do this in order to deal with auto sharing you as a business analyst or admin have to check with the customer first what kind of an automatic sharing rule that they want to set up in the system right so in order to set up the rule now in the inside the system you as an admin have to click on the setup and you have to go to the same page i think i have logged in as testing user here right okay raj strategy so let me go back to the same page sharing setting and uh, we have already discussed this page where we talked about the organization wide default the control by parent story and if you scroll down we have something called sharing rule see for every individual object there is sharing rule inside salesforce okay so it's like lead sharing rule account sharing rule opportunity sharing rule and you have something like uh, uh, you know outlet uh, student object teacher object all this custom object also has something called sharing rule what is this sharing rule this is the rule that you as an admin have to set up so that whenever a lead gets created or whenever the record gets created immediately for that object whatever sharing rule that you have defined will fire and will check okay if it is matching the criteria it will automatically shared with a particular team now to deal with the um, current example that we have taken so far let's create a new lead sharing rule i'm creating a new lead sharing rule give a name uh share lead based on type you know what giving a proper name is very important okay never use like test or something like that because you uh, if you give a proper name uh, then only maybe the next admin will be able to understand uh, what is exactly this sharing rule all about or anything you create give a proper name because there could be many sharing rule right nobody has to uh, go and check the uh, sharing rule in detail to find out what is this rule ab all about instead if you give a proper name this name itself will tell that okay this rule is going to do this all right so my rule name is let's say uh, share lead based on the type okay now you have to select here based on criteria so you can do two type of record sharing one is based on a criteria which is our current scenario where we will go and check the criteria our criteria is uh, 
if the lead type do you see the type field let me just type d y p okay i got type is equals to business if the type is equal to business yeah then this lead will be shared automatically with a public group called team one make sense where i have to give access like read only read write whatever access that business define you have to give here let's say read write save i'm done with the first sharing rule i'm going to go and create one more sharing rule because i have to create the sharing rule for uh the type called personal because in the same sharing rule you cannot have two different criteria like if it is type if the type is equal to business share with team one if or else if the type is personal share with team two that you cannot do so you have to create multiple sharing rule here so i'm creating again one more sharing rule lead sharing okay and this name is not proper again you have to give a proper name and here i'm selecting my criteria as if lead type is equals to uh personal right and uh, this time i'm going to share the record with team 2 all right so now here uh two thing you have to check out one is uh, definitely the uh, uh, honor based sharing so if you go ahead with the rule type called based on record honor then you can define okay if the honor uh if the lead or if the lead is owned by let's say 1 2 3 4 5 these five users share the lead with team 1 if this lead is been again owned by again uh, 5 to 10 users share the lead with team 2 so you first have to create the public group public group which will include the members the owners okay let's say i have a public group called um, north india um, sales heads and you have included five members so any leads owned by this one of these five members will be automatically shared to the public team one you know what i'm saying i'm not creating this okay i hope you are understanding but let me just repeat it again my scenario is suppose the in north india zone there are five sales executive and any lead record owned by one of these five sales executive would be automatically shared with the team one in the south india zone let's say there are another five different executives and if any lead data owned by this so uh, any of these um, members will be shared with team 2 if that is the case you first as an admin have to get ready with the north india sales head public group south india sales head public group and you have to define here select which record to be shared with you have to define here lead owned by members of the public group name here the north india public group and the south indian public group right i i think i should be i should be creating this just to make it more clear um because this is just a recording session and i'm not sure whether you'll be able to clear this uh concept let me just let me just quickly create these two public group and then explain the same scenario again one more time okay so we are trying to understand the the rule type is equal to based on the record owner i hope this based on the criteria is pretty much clear where we just selected the criteria Uh, if type is equal to something, it will be shared. Now we are trying to understand the uh, honor based thing. Okay, so to understand this uh, process, the example that we have drawn is this. I have suppose two public group called North India Sales Head, South India Sales Head. In this public group, suppose there are five members. In this public group, suppose there are twenty members. Okay. Now any lead. okay any lead whenever it gets created the requirement is this whenever a lead gets onboarded into the system if the lead owner is one of the member from this north india sales head this particular group this is a public group by the way okay so if the lead owner is one of the person from this north india sales head uh, public group one of these five members then this lead will be shared with team 1 okay or else if the lead owner is one of the member from the south india sales head where there are like uh, how many people are there 20 members are there right in this public group if 
the owner of the lead whatever is getting created is one of the member from this particular public group where there are 20 members then this lead will be shared with team 2 right if that is the case then we are going to implement the honor based sharing let me just show you my screen now so here i have created already um, uh, the public groups i am just giving some name like um, based honor based sharing okay so i'm selecting here if the honor is let's say north india cells then the record will be shared with team one with read only access you got it right and second time i'm creating one more sharing rule i'm selecting if the public group is uh, if the if the honor is from the south india sales head public group then share the record with the team called team two with same read only or whatever read write access so these two things is is pretty much like conceptual thing i hope this uh, difference between uh, honor based sharing and criteria based sharing is crystal clear okay criteria based uh, based sharing is basically which we already have created as per our first requirement right what was our first requirement our first requirement was if any lead is getting created with type is equal to business right this lead will be shared with the team team one if any lead was getting created with type is equal to personal would be shared with team two i have a request to you that please create this public group and whatever i am uh, just trying to uh, teach you right please uh, do an hands on okay let's create this public group create the sharing rule and one the most important part is what testing testing is something that you have to do now let's go ahead and test this okay i have created a rule which says if the lead uh, type is equal to business it will be automatically shared with team one no matter who is the owner regardless of the owner okay now to test this thing i'm gonna go and create a new lead all right so i'll go here and search with leads and i'll quickly create a new brand new leads with type what with type is equal to business so just giving some name test which is not recommended definitely test where is my type field this is my type i'm giving type as business remember save what's going to happen how do you test how do you go and test the sharing rule whether the rule has actually fired or not how do you go and test it can you guess this lead the honor is rajesh how do you test if the lead based on my sharing rule is actually been shared with team one or not because i had a sharing rule type is equal to uh, business it would be automatically shared with the uh, team one so how do you define that you have to go here and look for the sharing yeah if you go to the sharing and uh, we discuss this edit button right if you click on the edit button it will show you all the existing sharings if you click on edit see this lead is already been shared with rajesh and team rajesh because he is the owner and team one because of the sharing rule team one is what is a public group all right i hope this automatic sharing rule is crystal clear right see the manual sharing automatic sharing will be coming into the picture again if your organization wide default is either private or public read only and i'm pretty sure that whatever project that you will be working in we will be using the manual sharing and the auto sharing so this concept if you are crystal clear you can actually use this uh, solution for any of the problem that you get to see in your project all right so let me just quickly revise everything that we have learned so far we are discussing so far these uh, record level security and the first thing of the record level security is what is the organization wide default that's the baseline of sharing setting okay second of the um, record level security is what i mean uh, how do you extend if the organization wide default is private how do you extend that uh, private thing is through manual sharing and uh, if you don't want to do this manually if the business wants uh, some some records to be shared automatically with someone is through auto sharing so far we have learned these three thing which is a part of record level security and next thing which we are going to learn is called a role hierarchy that's the one of the important uh, feature of record level security okay so 
मैनुअल शेयरिंग दिस लाइन इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके मैनुअल शेयरिंग ऑटोमेटिक शेयरिंग रोल हायर की इज वॉट इज द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ ऑर्गनाइजेशन वाइड डिफॉल इज इक्वल टू प्राइवेट स्लैश पब्लिक रीड ओनली यू आर बेसिकली एक्सटेंडिंग दैट फीचर राइट योर ओ डब्ल्यू डी इज प्राइवेट नाउ नो बडी कैन सी इच अदर्स डेटा एंड दिस इज हाउ विद द मैनुअल शेयरिंग ऑटो शेयरिंग एंड रोल हायर की यू आर एक्चुअली एक्सटेंडिंग दैट फीचर दीज आर वेरी वेरी सेंसिटिव थिंग दैट यू विल बी डीलिंग विद इन द एक्चुअल प्रोजेक्ट एज एन एडमिन ओके सो यू एज एन एडमिन वुड बी डूइंग दिस जॉब्स वंस the organization why default if it is private it will be private for the lifetime for that object you cannot keep changing it from private to read write or read only every time you cannot do it right because there will be lot of manual sharing auto sharing role hierarchy implemented already so if you keep changing the organization why default from private to something else then the data security will be uh, fluctuated and that's going to cause a big problem okay i'm just going to share one story okay uh, a few couple of years back i was actually helping a customer okay and that customer came to me saying you know what i already implemented salesforce but i got a big problem okay what was the problem and the problem was uh, he was a customer though but he was having a little bit of understanding of this owd thing and all right so he was telling me that the admin actually made the organization wide default from private to public read write just for 5 to 10 minutes i said uh, what happened for that 5 to 10 minutes he said like one of my competitor this this customer was basically uh, they had like so many hotels uh, hotel chain and uh, what he was telling me it was his experience that he was sharing with me right he was telling me that one of his competitor joined them and uh, that that person right immediately pulled out a report and exported all their next like 6 months of lead because the organization wide default is is been changed to public and that guy was able to access all the data and he was able to export all the data right so it's a it's a very uh, data breach is a very sensitive thing for the customer so i'm telling you all this story because just to let you know this organization wide default when you'll be working as an admin for a particular project will remain same if it is private and if you have set up the manual sharing auto sharing role hierarchy you will not keep changing these things again and again this will remain remain same but uh, in case if you want to extend it you will be using all these three thing one of these three thing to extend that organization wide default and believe me most of the time for most of the projects the main organization the main uh, objects organization wide default will definitely be private only so you have to deal with all these three thing in your project for sure so if this concept are clear then the the project will be very interesting for you to play around so this is all about uh, the manual and auto sharing uh, i'm going to record the role hierarchy um, uh, part in the next video all right i'm going to discuss a very interesting example by the way for the role hierarchy this so see you in the next video thank you